All right, all right. As you guys have seen from my pictures, finally finished on the next modification. Always wanted a 360 seat, 360 swivel seat. So this one here is the Pelican Ergo 360 seat. Picked it up from Amazon for a really good price. Uh, it wasn't like brand new, I believe. Um, I think somebody bought it and then they returned it. So I got a pretty good uh, discount off of this seat. So as you guys have seen from my other pictures, um, this base down here before was like a cutting board that I had. But then I did have, before this seat, I had a Rhino swivel seat that I've had in my garage for a while. So I took that one apart and then I noticed uh, the seat um, bracket on that seat was you know similar in length so I decided to mock it up and it was like a perfect fit for kind of like a cross member to attach to the Pelican um, seat brackets so I bolted it on I'm gonna add some more bolts and some more clamps and stuff just in case but you know I'm gonna test it out and then I'll do some other modifications if I need to Right now, yeah, I mean the swivel, the holes on this bracket here, uh, it was already pre-drilled because, you know, like I said, this bracket came out of a swivel seat, so I just had to bolt on the ergo seats right onto it. One of the things why I wanted a 360 seat, not because I'm gonna like turn all the way, but then a lot of times when I'm reaching to the backside of my, like to get some stuff out of my crate or something like that, um, I like to turn around just a little bit and sometimes um, when I'm fishing, you know, if the fish are in a different direction than where I'm going, you know, I want to turn just a little bit. So being able to turn the seat instead of, you know, turning your body ergonomically, that's a lot better also for the body. So yeah, this is uh, just a little quick video on the modification that I did for the seat. It is sitting a little bit higher than the stock seat which would be around this uh, height right here but I did take off uh, my do-it-yourself seat riser PVC for the front side I still got the back side on right now but I might cut the back side down just a little bit so you know it'll sit just a little bit lower it might be a little bit angled backwards but I think we should be fine there's not really any call outs on that and then you know I have the Hobie drive I believe I should still be able to get my foot here um, it's probably gonna be more of a down um, motion instead of like a straight motion or a angle up motion since I'm sitting just a little bit higher but yeah having the 360 seat I believe it's gonna be an awesome addition to the kayak and you know hopefully it holds up um, if not you know I will just have to modify it some other way but yeah this is the Ergo 360 seat from Pelican modify it on to my Pelican Catch 110 High Drive 2 so if you guys have any questions at all send me a message and you know we can definitely talk about it thanks for watching